You probably have strong views about cricket and the Olympics. Many hear those words near each other and they lose their chill. So let's start with what these really angry people say, that there is already too much cricket. And if you're talking about these guys right here, it's hard to argue. It took a global pandemic to stop Australia, England and India playing each other on a 24 hour loop. And that's not even mentioning the leagues. IPL, PSL, CPL, 100, BBL, ZPL, BPL, Manzanzi, T10, Euroslam, Global, Emirates, Shapen Gaza, Blitz, and the League of Extraordinary Walking Gentlemen. The fact I only had to make up two leagues there is my point. There's a lot of cricket being played now. Until the virus happened, every time you turned on the TV, Neil Wagner was bouncing someone or Corin Pollard was hitting a six over long on. But that's men's cricket at the top level. What if I was doing women's cricket? That would be way different. Then the only current woman to have played 20 tests. It's okay, I was only kidding. There isn't one. There's only ever been seven women who have played 20 tests. There's still no women's IPL. And while there is a hundred and a bash for the ladies, that's two competitions. The men's game usually has more than one league being played simultaneously. And what about disability cricket? There are more forms of disability cricket than seemingly matches played. India have a team in the Physical Disability, Deaf and Blind World Cups. They're the only major team to have three sides in these tournaments. And they still don't have a learning disability team. There was a Physical Disability World Cup in England last year. Except there wasn't. Because they couldn't call it that. They didn't get the naming rights because the ICC don't run any disability cricket. So India won the Physical Disability World Cricket Series. It only involved five teams. That's a quadrangular with a plus one. So what would the Olympics do for all this? Well, the Paralympics would mean that it was a reason for cricket boards and governments to back their players. The ICC might have to come in and run the whole damn thing, giving the various forms of disability cricket a much needed boost. Oh, and it'll be on the telly, only once every four years, but that's better than where we are now. The women would get a boost too, some major countries haven't backed their women enough, but they might if there's a cheeky medal involved and grants from the government could start arriving. This is also a huge help for the associate nations. They're the ones, men and women, who usually struggle to get support from their government or sponsors. A side like the Brazilian women's team could be a cheeky medal prospect with a bit of support and Papua New Guinea's men are a fascinating team. They come from a nation that has never won an Olympic medal. What could they do with an entire country supporting them? Also, the Olympic motto is faster, higher, stronger. Cricket's got that covered. But there are some drawbacks. The ICC would have to dump one tournament in their four year cycle. And while that sounds fine, for the smaller nations, that means a drop off in revenue that the Olympics wouldn't make up for straight away. Also, some of our much loved teams can't compete. The West Indies and Ireland would have to be split up. But at the 1998 Commonwealth Games, it did allow for Viv Richards to hold Antigua and Bermuda's flag. It's also possible that we'd end up with a Team GB instead of England, which gives George Munsey's reverse sweep the chance at Olympic glory. There's also a very good argument against from the Olympic side of things. While it may benefit cricket, why does the Olympics need another sport that won't treat them like they're the pinnacle? Sure, it makes sense from a financial point of view to attract India, Pakistan and Bangladesh interest more, but with the T20 World Cup getting more popular, is it already too late to make the Olympics the ultimate championship of T20 cricket? And you could make it a T10, but does adding another format really help? There are also the pitches. I mean, they're always a problem, at all times, in every way. Cricket in the Olympics would never be perfect. It'd be rushed, we split up teams on dodgy pitches. But if it helps cricketers who need it the most and grows the game, then it's still worth it. And remember this important fact. Cricket was once in the Olympics and England won gold. Do we really want to live in a world where they are the only Olympic cricket champions? <laughs>